can't, I can't, I just can't, I can't, you know what I mean? But one thing I know about, you know, the American people, and I'm kind of going off the cuff here. I mean, you know, I, I, we'll get into the sports, trust and believe we will. But uh, one thing I know about Americans, um, they like you if you're the, if you're telling the truth. And I say that meaning like this. They know Donald Trump is a complete idiot. They know that. But they respect him because he's saying the truth. He's speaking the truth. He's saying what a lot of poor white people feel. He's speaking the poor white person's truth. And I don't want to offend anybody who's white, you know what I mean, in, in the Stuart Media and Entertainment family, but it's the truth. I think that's one thing about certain Americans or most of America. I think that's why Donald Trump is leading in the polls now. It's mainly because he tells the truth according to what America wants to hear. So it, it, it's sad, but, you know, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. It is me, he is I, and I am him. I am he that they call the alpha male. Uh, we're going to head out on a quick break. Uh, in the next segment, well, uh, in the next segments, uh, we definitely got to talk about what happened last Wednesday, something you guys all missed. I know last Wednesday you guys missed something really, really big. Uh, as well as we got the alpha males, give me 10. Give me 10. A uh, new segment here on Alpha Male Sports. So, uh, that being said, I'm going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. It's Alpha Male Sports. Fitness. Summertime is here. Now, let's be honest. You found every excuse not to work out. You probably put it off each week telling yourself, I got time. Well, time is up. And if you're looking for a gym that is effective and motivating to get you to your goal, then you have no other choice than to choose Effect Fitness. Effect Fitness is an intensive boot camp experience like no other. If you're looking to increase your personal power, recognize your own strength, and cultivate your mind and body, then Effect Fitness is the boot camp for you. Are they downtown? Where are they located? Effect Fitness is located in the heart of Atlanta at 1 Baltimore Place Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30308. I have a crazy schedule, really, and and, 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 and I'm a morning person. I like coffee, so I, I really need a gym that's going to be open before the first waffle drops at Waffle House. Effect Fitness has morning classes Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. But I work a 9 to 5, and I had a gym that's going to be there the moment I get out of traffic. You know how this Atlanta traffic is. Effect Fitness also has afternoon classes Monday through Friday at 4.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. This is so exciting, but are they open on the weekends? Yes, Effect Fitness is also open during the weekend with classes on Saturday at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and Sunday before you go to church at 9 a.m. And there you have it. What other boot camp is open seven days of the week with classes in the mornings and in the evenings to help get you to your goal? Like we said, if you're looking to increase your personal power, recognize your own strength, and cultivate your mind and body, then Effect Fitness is the boot camp for you. you, 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 you. Effect Fitness. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers and you will know my name is the lord when i lay my vengeance upon thee we like sports and we don't care who knows yeah yeah and we're back we are back we are back ladies and gentlemen it is me he is i and i am him i'm he that they call the alpha male second segment of Alpha Male Sports here at Student Media and Entertainment. Of course, we are brought to you by Effect Fitness. It is already too late, ladies and gentlemen. Summer is almost over. So go ahead and get started on next summer. Now go ahead and join Effect Fitness, man, with flexible classes and times during the day. Make sure that you guys have your opportunity, and they are open some days a week. Some days a week, man. So make sure that you guys take that, take that opportunity, all right? Of course... You guys uh, been been saying this all show. I'm going to be going back and forth. What happened last week and this week and last week and this week and last week and this week. Well, of course, last week, uh, you guys missed out on a prime opportunity to wish a great king a happy birthday. <laughs> yes, that. Uh, th yeah, exactly. Me. Kill the music. Happy birthday. Happy 
birthday to me. Yeah. Yes, man. 28 years old. The alpha male has turned 28 years old. Yes, sir. 28 years young, man. Um, so of course, with all that being said, 28 years old, you know, I, I found it, I guess, appropriate to go ahead and bring this new segment to you guys that I like to call now. The Alpha Male. Give me 10. Give me 10 with the Alpha Male. Oh, I'm so happy. I can't even feel my arms. All right, guys. So give me 10. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, a segment where I'm going to be, be bringing up just the top 10 of whatever topic that I might be bringing up for that specific day. It could be, you know, sports related. It could, of course, it could be uh, entertainment based, you know, any type of topic that you got. And, and I'll even give you guys an opportunity to give me a give me 10. But of course, this week's give me 10 was my top sports experiences in my 28 years of living here on God's green earth. Yes, 28 years. So uh, number 10, um, I found it to be somewhat of an opportunity, uh, number one, to get a good amount of cash in my pocket. I'll explain that in a second. And uh, to be able to, I guess, go where some of PGA's top performers have been to uh, play on a course where, you know, let's just say Tiger Woods played. Yes, that is being a caddy at East Lake Golf Course. Man, when I tell you, yeah, that was a great experience. So that was my number 10 uh, sporting experience uh, was number one working there. Working there is actually pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Being a caddy, you know, of course, you carry the bags uh, of the set golfers that are you know golfing at that time. But the great part about it, and you know, it's just the pay. The pay is incredible. I'm going. I'm just telling you the truth. It, it's a it's a high class uh, golf course, and and it's, it's it's a great place to play. Cause yes, we caddies do get an opportunity to play on the golf course. So yes, East Lake Golf Course, major, major, major key, number 10. All right, number nine. Number nine on my list, on my give me 10, going to Monday Night Raw on my 12th birthday. Yes, yes. This time, what was it, 16 years ago? Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, um, going to Monday Night Raw. That was so much fun, man. Um, you know, it was my 12th birthday. My dad uh, was at work all day. I was at home. Of course, it was the summertime, you know, so I really wasn't doing much. I knew that I was going to do something that weekend, but, of course, my dad came home, surprised us with some Monday Night Raw tickets, to totally blew my mind. You know, uh, I was able to see all of it from Kane. We used to, we got the mask. We got the Undertaker's, you know, stuff. It was, it was dope. I got a T-shirt, you know, so I had a very good time, you know, uh, 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 at Monday Night Raw. So that was number, number nine, okay? Uh, number eight. Seeing Deion Sanders play for the Falcons in the Georgia Dome. Now, of course, with the jo Georgia Dome, uh, being torn down, you know, probably within the next year or so. You know, 2017, of course, the Falcons are going to be moving to the new Mercedes-Benz Dome. So, you know, it feels good to say that I, I had, you know, I, I had an experience in the Georgia Dome. Um, the big thing about that was just the fact that um, just seeing Deion Sanders, I'm sorry, like, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> just seeing Deion Sanders is incredible. Just flat out. That's incredible. All right, so yeah, that was my number eight. Now number uh number seven, number seven, having the opportunity to play college football, flat out. I, I that was my major goal in high school was to get a, a college scholarship. Um, now I didn't get the scholarship, but I had the opportunity to play for a scholarship at Benedict College, uh, where you know you know we we had a pretty nice stadium. That's about all I can really say about the program uh, up until this point because back then, man, we were struggling, struggling, major struggle. But, you know, it was cool. That was my experience. I was able to play college football. Not too many people can say that they got to that position. So, for me, that was a major accomplishment. Uh, I was not going to go to Clark Atlanta nor Morehouse. My dad spread his name all through that, so I just wanted to go ahead and make my own name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just couldn't do it. Number six. Number six, uh, I just said number seven was going to Benedict, playing football for Benedict. Number six, playing football for the high, Stevenson High School. Now, if you uh, are from the Georgia area or, you know, any of the Stewies here or the, the Stewart Media and Entertainment family, if any of you live or lived in Georgia for the past, what, 15, 
15, 20 years, Stevenson was the school to talk about. I'm talking, I ain't going to say 15, about 15 years, not 20, about 15 years. I mean, we got names like Anthony Cannon, Reggie Ball, uh, uh, Michael Grant, um, uh, Jermaine Cunningham, Perry Riley, Kelvin Shepard. Uh, um, uh, I mean, it's just so many different names that you can look up right now that are in the league right now. That are in the that's in the NFL right now. You know what I'm saying? So major, major, major shouts out to Stevenson High School. That's my alma mater, and I think I I put that ahead of playing college football because I used to always tell folks I played my college football in high school. You know what I'm saying? Like we did some amazing stuff in high school, but I'm definitely going to tell you about some of those things later on in this list. Now, uh, number five. My first sports reporting event with the Atlanta Falcons. That was my number five moment. Had a great time. Uh, of course, I had came to the Atlanta Falcons and uh, just told them that I was a freelance reporter. I just wanted to get into a game. They gave me the opportunity to report. I think it was the Washington Redskins game. Real cool. I was able to see one of my high school buddies, Perry Riley, plays for the, uh, for the Redskins. So it was pretty cool. Cool experience. Number four, having a pro friend in another city. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. So here's the deal with this. This past Christmas, um, my girlfriend's from Baltimore. We took a trip to Baltimore for Christmas, flat out. Now, uh, Christmas gift, you know, we had decided that we weren't going to, you know, do gifts this year. She didn't do me a gift because we spent time, you know, we spent time and money getting to Baltimore. So uh, I called one of my buddies, uh, Adelius Thomas, used to play for the Ravens. Uh, played for the, uh, I think the, um, the, uh, the Patriots when they went undefeated into that last game. So he and I, you know, became friends through radio. I go to Baltimore. He has a restaurant in Baltimore. So I say, Hey, I'm gonna go to your restaurant. He calls the restaurant, tells them that I'm coming. They took care of the entire meal for my girlfriend and I all on the house. Talk about some of the best steaks in your life. The best steaks in your life. Loved every last bit of it. Man, that was a good experience. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Free steak. Who can beat it? Anywho. All right. <laughs> so, um, number three. Number three. Uh, three experience. I guess sporting experience. Uh, this was just, you know, just kind of miscellaneous. It was actually pretty cool, though. And I think I put this so high because this dude was really cool. Was selling shoes to Dominique Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins. I mean, that was some dope stuff. And then... Uh, I think that was the time Reebok was re reselling his old shoe from back in the day, like back in the you know early 90s, mid 80s. So that was a pretty cool thing to sell Dominique Wilkins his own shoe. I mean, come on. How many folks can say that they sold Jordan his own shoe? I'm not putting these two on the same level, but, you know, I just must be that type of salesman. <laughs> uh, number two uh, was meeting Jim Brown. Yeah, me no number two is meeting Jim Brown. I met Jim Brown. Uh, my junior year of high school, going as my senior year, we were uh, brought in by the Falcons to hold the flag at the beginning of the game. And so Jim Brown, who was like, you know, of course, is very old, and he was at the front, you know, of like a big crowd. And I'm like, okay, who is this old guy? So he moves out of the way and lets us, the high school, go by. And I see him, and he waves at everybody and says, hey, how you guys doing? I'm like, oh, snap, that's Jim Brown. I'm the only guy in my, in my high school at the time who knew who he was, which was a major surprise to me. I, I don't get that. But anywho, meeting Jim Brown was a major, major, major experience. Now, my number one moment is, is split in two, 1A and 1B. One, and one, B. one B, my number one, 1B, one is playing in the Georgia Dome three times in one season. Yes. Who can say that? I'll wait. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, um, that was a great experience because I always said I played my college football in high school for Stevenson High School. We were like a college football team in, in the state of Georgia, like flat out. To play three games in the Georgia Dome in one season, I don't think anybody can be, can top that, bro. That was a major experience. And then my number one A experience was meeting Michael Vick. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I, I, you know, I, that's that's my that's my list. You know what I'm saying? Through these 28 years, Michael Vick, meeting Michael Vick had to be the coolest situation I ever had. Um, I was uh, I was in the I was actually in line to go to the Hawks game with my dad. We were going to see Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. I know, right? Great night. So anyway.